previously. Oh my god. Broke up with me, bitch. Goodbye. I can see. I'm telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. There's an empty slot, so there must be a missing piece that fits here. Okay, it, let's say we all go hunting around this place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. Even if we manage to find it, how do we solve the rest of it? Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. Almost like you knew. I was having difficulties there, it wasn't, um, picking up my microphone. Right, so we need to find something that fits in here. Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? I don't know. Right now, it did open a gate to downstairs. Um, I'm just worried about that person that was sneaking about downstairs in the garden. Yep, we've already seen that one before. Right, let's take a look at, because this gate opened up, I believe. Was there a gate? There was something. Yeah, I think so. I if it was upstairs. Can't remember. Where did Linda go? This was a little security room. Only one of them isn't on. Wonder what Augustine's got in there. Just trying to... I wish I paid more attention to where that gate opened. Okay, I thought that was a door. Do you have to be right up my ass, sir? Can we get out here? Right, so obviously that did not open there. So 
where, oh where, did that gate open? Was it upstairs, maybe? Where the hell did Linda go? Linda! Where are you? Um. Gee whiz. Can't even fit in there, seriously. Uh, so this was reviewed at the second Fiendish Desires Fan Festival. Uh, at first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is its unskillful composition. Cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, so people did not like the movie. <sighs> These lovely little dolls. So Long Island Auction House. <laughs> That's Augustine a lot of dollar for an old movie. Lieber. So she's paid ten thousand, twelve thousand for one of the other pieces. They say about keys, gotta be a lock nearby. Find a place to. No use one says that, Maddie. Key. Right, anywhere in here, maybe like a lock box. Hmm. I really cannot figure out where that gate opened. And where the fuck did Linda go? Is she just absconded out the window? She's just done a runner. Oh, there she is. Okay, so we can't use the key there. Can't use the key here. internal workings of a washing machine but somehow I doubt it is temporal machinery god to try to build a time machine seen a single thing that needs a key. scene. That space might fit the tree downstairs. Yes, that's just what I was thinking. Find a missing piece of the diarrhea. 
Or the diorama. I wonder why they're called dioramas. Is it meant to be like a panorama? You're coming with me, buddy. But a diagram? I have no idea why they're called dioramas. Am I the only one working here, guys? Jesus Christ. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. Well, this is kind of leading you through all the clues, isn't it? One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Oh, there we go. Okay, time to unlock that gate. Get out of my way! Bloody idiot. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Maybe it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads. And heads. So there is a house. tree aren't I a genius huh. that was not so bad I am so clever I like that open fire. It's really nice. <laughs> Look at that fat little pig in the background. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, Ray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. She's a serious Let's collector. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Hmm. Explore the reliquary. Oh. My spider It's senses. like a museum for... I have no fucking idea what. Do be tingling. Something unearthly for sure. She told me they must die, that it must be violent to open the gates. All right. Hey, Linda, check this out. These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. Huh. There is no tomb in the Prophecy of Pain. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other. Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Hey, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. Like crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. 
<laughs> well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> Why don't we make it interesting? How so? A little wager. Terms? If I win, you tell me what I want to know. And if I win? I'll... I'll give you my section of the film. Deal. Why would you do That's that, official. Linda? You can't take that back. Jesus, hot sauce. We're not <clears throat> 12. Flip for it? Sure. But I get to call it. <sighs> well, I call it or no deal. All right. What's it gonna be? Uh, let's just go with heads. Heads. Well, <laughs> them's the brakes. <laughs> I believe we had a deal. Wait. No, no. <sighs> nice. Very nice. Hey, worth a try, right? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With every penny. I really hate his hair so much. Ooh. This whole place is like a film set. Acadian demon Mesopotamia. 23rd century, a statue from Akkadian Empire, cuneiform on fragmentary clay tablets discovered nearby, suggests it represents a mythological demon. Worshippers believed it capable of bestowing supernatural power in exchange for their devotion, protecting them and destroying their enemies. Well, you look very friendly. God, that looks like a bloody wedding cake made out of stone. Looks like an old fashioned instrument. Some kind of like, dragon. This is cool. Don't know what it is, but it's cool. The pine cone, which represents the pineal gland. from the Trade Winds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest or, I don't know, all, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself as it has been reported, an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god, oh, oh my god, okay, okay, that was an explosive. Oh, that was an explosion. I, I can't see. I can't, I can't see. Uh, oh my. Oh, oh, the police have now opened fire. It, it now sounds like the police lines are broken. I can't see anything. I, oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Holy shit. So the movies did drive people to murderous intent. No. There's no way. It can't be. She's got the original camera. Hey, Linda. You should really come see.
What is this? It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans. Contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims? Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... Who's that? Oh my god! That's Sam Green, I think. What the fuck is he doing here? Think we should go retrieve the rest of the crew? It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie? Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Oh, cold. Yeah, I got something for that. Pocket warmer. <laughs> sure. Okay, sure. Thanks. Oops, I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Nah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, he can be all right. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. And how's that any of your business, Bonnie Rivera? <laughs> Look, if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer, it's freshly squeezed gossip. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so, broke up, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was indefinite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. Oh. You deserve better than that. Yeah, I think so too. Do Maybe I detect? We should go find everybody else. A little sexual Are you frustration. Sure I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure.
second my mom comes home, it's lickety splits for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure I... I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. How oh. do I get this box? Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. What are you gonna do there? Mm, same thing I always do. Make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Mm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one, then. Yeah. Five names I have taken. Wait, so where did they go again? Okay. No, no, it's not okay. We gotta get out of this place. We gotta get out of here right now. We gotta go. Jaime, slow down. We found it. We found his, like, secret hideout. Whose hideout? Freaks don't. No one ever found it before. You sure? Robert went to get his dad. Where's Chris? The door pulled her. She's gone. Chris is gone. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm gonna go check it out. You should get him some air. Outside. I don't think I'd be volunteering to come and check out. Okay, how do I get this one now? to tell us. Well, she's definitely gone. Okay. Okay. I gotta get back to Jaime and Bonnie. Where do I get this box? to be away. I should go back and find the others. I cannot see how you would get up there. Maybe right here. So she didn't go through here. I cannot see any way up there. I'm a, either blind. I thought maybe you could move the machinery or something, but. Gonna have to miss that one then. Jaime and Bonnie must be waiting outside. Don't think I'm gonna find anything else here.
Does that furnace look different? This is the way out. Oh. We gotta go, we gotta get out of here now. No, no, we gotta wait for Linda. Linda, did you find anything? I may? Uh, he's okay, but not okay. I think there was something with them that gave him that cut on his head. Something? Like what? Uh, apparently only Chris saw it through the camera. Well, let's go, let's go! Oh my, what the fuck? Linda, you idiot. I think maybe when you record them, it absorbs some energy. Oh, great. How the hell did we get out? Lord, the scissor lift. How? Oh, my God. If I can get up there, that's my way out. I do not feel safe at all. And the fact that we can still use the camera. to find fucking generator parts? What the fuck? Um, anything on the shelf? If I were a generator part, where would I be hiding? Uh, oh my goodness. Pick up! What, what have I to pick up? What is this? Where was that? Oh! This will do. This will do. Oh, for fuck's sake.
Right. Okay. I think this will be quicker than um crawling through that little hole again. Oh for fuck's sake! Stop it! Just try to make me look away. Hurry up. Oh my god, that scissor lift has taken so long. Oh my god, this better not get me, I swear to Jesus. How did I get up? Oh my god, get moving, get your ass moving. to get to the others. did that say? Was that all the way over here just for this? <coughs> yeah, where's Jaime and everybody else? Castle. <clears throat> it's been a long time, hasn't it? Twenty years at least. I don't keep track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's gonna spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other.
Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I... No. I'm sorry. Ugh. Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure malignant corruption. And it's hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's, That's pretty that much nice. coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I got a hand or two. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. Why, he's an asshole. I hate that guy. Was this locked before? Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Where'd he go? Why is this here? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. She likes her little pigs, doesn't she? Dan! Oh god, the occult. Just what I need. Oh dear. So the eerie green lights. Oh. 
What the fuck is this woman bell? to figure this out. I really need to shut this thing down. Okay, that made something happen. That's good, I think. Hold on! <sighs> Whatever happened to a good old-fashioned on-off switch? Super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. <laughs> yeah. I can only do one at a time. Go. I didn't even know how I got the first one. No idea. I'm just, just turning these. Hang in there. I, I'm, I'm gonna get you out. I have no idea what I'm doing. It seems to be working. Okay, one more to go. from a sci-fi flick. Okay, I think my lock's ran out. Well, that looks like it should join up. There we go. How are you doing in there? I just wonder who the hell's Don't gonna be in there. Ready. Who's gonna be in this? And are we gonna release all these ghosts?
Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Shit. Again. Horology on my what? A horrorolo? What the fuck? 